matter how busy you are how good movie you want to see you must make any one effort before you go to bed you must do steam inhalation very simple but very effective what is that steam inhalation you boil 2 liter of water and put 10 drops of eucalyptus oil cover yourself with a blanket and do 7 minute inhalation now what that is going to do that again going to help you to open up your these channels and help to expel the mucus from your lungs so this way you are not letting that virus to be getting more and more activated and it help in your breathing more so you are again creating in a more protective layer around that so that's another regime now comes the most important uh, regime which again relate with our lifestyle which again in this regime this problem also going to help you a lot throughout the day wherever you are in your daily life you must make an effort to do 10 to 15 deep long slow breath what that mean is just from your deep belly through your nose and out through nose in a one go try to do 10 to 15 reason why you need to do that because this virus attack your respiratory system respiratory system means oxygen so if your body has an less oxygen which is very obvious the way our lifestyle is 99% time our breathing can be shallow breathing now many of us will say that look i am into yoga and i do yogic practices so my breathing should be very perfect but in very honesty because seeing client every day and many of them are always yoga practitioners right their breathings are always shallow so what that mean is shallow breathing mean you are more vulnerable your cells are lacking that vitality so even if you can incorporate that that will help a lot so these are the few regimes for specifically for covid 19 now one more important regime comes up you need to be on a day to day basis keeping an eye what you are eating that is the crucial part of this whole issue what that mean is you must make an effort to eat only warm and cooked food now many will say okay hang on the whole life i have heard of that eating salad is wonderful smoothies are wonderful things right and you are now telling me that to eat warm and cooked how come that can be please understand try to understand this very simple principle whatever you are eating in your day to day's life whether you are sick or not sick or in your optimum state every food when we eat need to get metabolized before it give you nutrient to nourish your body so who is going to cook your food whatever you have eaten whether it is your simple vegetable or organic or super organic vegetable each one has to get metabolized and now who is metabolizing my food whatever i have eaten in my stomach hydrochloric acid and the enzymes at the first level in the stomach now what are these hydrochloric acid and enzymes these are nothing but fire we call it as digestive fire now when my digestive fire is compromised due to erratic lifestyle or due to various factor what will happen your body will not be able to metabolize your organic salad and then it is going to produce more toxin less nutrient that is how problem comes up so to make it a little bit less dangerous for us idea is when i am vulnerable or the sur- surroundings are vulnerable i must make an effort that i eat warm and cooked warm and cooked that should be our mantra to chant and do that in our daily cooking then another aspect comes up 
every one of us in this crisis situation can make an a simple detox drink to drink throughout the water if you feel that yes i can make an a little bit extra effort and that will help us to keep flushing the built up of the toxins which can really help to stabilize your immune system what is that you just taken a 3 liter of water and in that you put 1 and 1/2 inch of grated ginger 6 green cardamom 2 black cardamom 1 teaspoon of ajwain seed 1 teaspoon of fennel seed 1 inch of cinnamon stick and 1 clove and boil this water to reduce to 1.5 and then strain so rather than drinking plain water or cold water or this carbonated water drink this drink throughout the day you will find it will improve your digestion and also give you an a good clean from your system and then another regime which is very important in this crisis many people think in their head that drinking lot of water will minimize the accumulation of this toxin in my or, or this virus in my system and for that they are drinking 4 liter of water 3 liter of water and then making themselves more vulnerable to the problem now someone might ask okay hang on how this can happen very simple because again when you are just drinking for the sake of drinking what actually is happening in your system again look at the same thing what i shared 2 minutes before in our system we have digestive fire to digest the food now look at outside in your house when you are cooking your food what you use you fire to cook the food now say unfortunately there is is an a fire in my house to extinguish that fire what comes in my thought first water so i try to put the fire through water until the fire brigade comes up same is happening in our system so when i am drinking just for the sake of drinking what i am doing is i am dampening my hydrochloric acid and enzymes i am diluting them so i am putting the fire off so what that mean is i am making a one layer of built up of these problems for my well being so when that has happened it means your tissues will not be getting proper nourishment and then person will start feeling that hang on because i am all the time feeling thirsty and you are telling me not to drink 3 liter or 5 liter water how that can happen but problem is we don't understand that if my tissues are not getting proper nourishment what mean they are hungry and they are asking for nourishment and when they are asking for nourishment message goes to our tongue that is how our system is made so message will come to the tongue but message is not coming to make your tongue dry for water it is asking nourishment so my crooked intelligence thinking that my tongue is dry so i need more water so that's a vicious cycle i'm putting on and the last point in this relationship another thing you will find the people who always drinking too much water they will also go to toilet frequently and then they feel that i am feeling fatigued and tired it's very obvious yes due to my crooked intelligence i have thought of drinking too much water but as i said in the beginning of my this talk that each one has an a unique bodily intelligence your bodily intelligence know how much water you require in your system so if i am putting extra water in my system what will happen my bodily intelligence has an a system to keep the water metabolism which is nothing but your two kidneys now kidneys has to work extra so when kidneys are overworking what happening is it is making the client to go to toilet frequently but at the same time kidneys are directly related with our adrenal gland which is nothing but relate with our immune system so that's where the person will always feel more fatigued and tired and you are making your system more and more vulnerable to be attacked by 
this aspect so that is where simple aspect of our daily routines and the seasonal routines which can be incorporated for this unfortunate situation what we are going through and if all of us can follow them if we are not following so far you will see you will have more and more power in your hand and not getting affected with the anxieties and worries and panic attack which make more vulnerable to us to get affected by these gland yes there are so many ayurvedic herbs which are much and much more better to stabilize our system what we call it to boost our immune system but as i said they are of no use if you are not incorporating daily and seasonal routine to make your body more stable and that's where i will share uh, in today's talk and uh, i hope uh, that can help uh, everyone